Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style. Today we are going to talk about daily stock market review and we will figure out is it bearish trend, is it still bearish or what's going on with the stock market world. Uh, please subscribe for my channel and click like button to support YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Let's move to trading view. Trading view. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup and other links about my other trainings. Let's uh, let's start it. Let me briefly mention about my setup. I am using I am using uh, uh, simple moving averages. Uh, Actually, I made 200, yeah, I made 200 white line, yellow line, I made 20, red line, I made 10, green line, I made 5, buy and sell script, green line, it's a major trend line from the top of the market, let me, and MACD indicator, only one MACD indicator, green line, it's a bullish, red line, it's a bearish, white line, it's a signal line, for MACD and yellow line is a zero line between bullish territory and, and bearish territory. That's all. Very simple. And volume. Volume. Let's start daily time frame for SPY. SPY, we still have sell signal and it's still bearish divergences worked well. We still MACD is still in a bearish trend. No changes, bearish trend. Last three days it touched the May 200. It, it touched EMA 200 and it kind of uh, bounced about around the EMA 200. It's still far from a 20. Definitely, it wants to connect to EMA 20. It can bounce from it because EMA 200 it's kind of strong support level. Bearish trend on MACD. No changes. Volume is strong. Look at that. Volume is strong. And let's let's move to four hours time frame. For SPY, four hours time frame, similar story, right? MACD red, still bearish. Let me, still bearish. Uh, last, yeah, bars, the previous bars touched a mate. A mate, a mate 200. It touched a mate 200 and kind of bounced from mate 200. Far from mate 20, looks like it wants to connect to mate 20 on four hours time frame. Still bearish, no changes. Let's move to one hour. One hour, it's different story. It's a buy signal. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. Looks like it wants to go bullish. MACD already green, already bullish. With bullish divergences, right? We have some bullish divergences. Price action is uptrend. And uh, on the on the price action is downtrend, on the MACD it's uptrend. That's what we have. Bearish diverg uh, bullish divergences and it wants to have some correction, wants to go bullish. Maybe it wants to close this gap, you see this is the gap between, between these bars, between 4, 406 and 403. And another gap is over here, between 408 and 407. We'll see, I don't know. Maybe it will touch this um, MA200 and will, will, will be rejected. That's all. Still bearish on 4 hours and daily time frame and 1 hour bullish for SPY. Let's move to Q's. Q's, Q's daily. Q's daily, MA5 did bearish crossover, green line over 10 and 20 and ready to do bearish crossover over 200 even last 3 days. Uh, it's kind of price action around the May 200. MACD bearish, no changes, large volume, bearish trend. Bearish trend, sell signal on the script. 4 hours time frame. 4 hours time frame. Similar story, MACD bearish, no changes. Far kind, kind of far, last bar far from May 20. It wants to connect to May 20. Still, still sell signal. It definitely wants to go and retest the May 200. And, and maybe this line, trend line, major trend line from the top of the market. Major trend, this green line, it's a major trend line from the top of the market. 
Okay, Magdi is still red, still bearish. One hour, one hour, it's a similar like spy. It did bullish crossover. It did dance around the May 200. I made 20 ready to do bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish. And I may five did bullish crossover. It wants to go some, some bullish. And it did. Uh, MACD green bullish trend on one hour time frame. Let's move to Dow. Dow Jones daily. Dow Jones daily. Let me remove it. Volume is strong. Look at it. Volume is strong. Bearish signal on daily time frame for last three days. It's still around MA200. It's kind of MA200 strong support now. Sell signal on the script far from A20. MACD red still bearish. Volume, yeah, volume is strong. Let's move to four hours. Four hours. Uh, Actually, four hours it closed below MA200, right? Close a bit below MA200 for on the four hours time frame for already for how many days? Uh, I'm sorry. I just yeah let me go to in the indicators I just close the indicator or the indicator not this one uh, sorry sorry for this mess let me bring Okay, we are back in business. Uh, last, yeah, last, last several days, right? Last several days, Dow already like four days close below MA200. It's far from MA20, close below MA200. Uh, MACD bearish, red, bearish trend on, the, on four hours time frame, no changes. One hour time frame, it's a similar like SPY and Qs. Uh, buy signal and my five ready to do bullish crossover. Maybe it will not happen. It will be like similar like here, but uh, it has some yeah some bullish divergences on one hour time frame. Let me show you. MACD positive uptrend right. On on here it's a price action was downtrend. It wants to go bullish. It wants to go bullish on one hour time frame. We'll see bearish on four hours and daily. Let's move to Russell 2000. Russell 2000 on daily time frame. So still sell signal, still uh, still uh, below MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20, still below 20. Bearish signal, bearish trend, MACD bearish, no changes on daily time frame. 4 hours for Russell 2000, still bearish, last bar below MA5, 10 and 20, it's above MA5 but still bearish, MACD bearish below zero line, MACD is below zero line, the, big, yeah, the white line is zero line. Let's move to, let's move to uh, one hour. One hour for IWM. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. It's below MA200. It is bearish, but its signal is bullish because MACD is green and uh, RS, yeah, uh, MACD green and uh, MA5 did bullish crossover. Buy signal on the script. Let me maximize it. Buy signal on the script. Last bar close above MA200. It is bullish. 
say similar like a price action is downtrend right and uh, MACD is uptrend it wants to go bullish MACD is uptrend bullish divergences and even bullish divergences on the histogram on one hour time frame bullish signal okay let's move to to apple apple daily let's see what's going on with apple daily bearish signal sell signal below my 20 bearish crossover in my 5 did over 10 and 20 MACD red bearish crossover daily apple bearish four hours similar apple ba bearish MACD red MACD red and uh, MA5 yeah bearish crossover bearish trend on four hours one hour for apple one hour for apple it's bullish right MACD bullish green line MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bullish buy signal one hour bullish four hours and daily bearish let's move to tesla tesla daily tesla daily ma5 did bearish crossover bearish trend macd bearish bearish signal on daily time frame for tesla four hours similar story ma5 did bearish crossover last bar close below ma5 below 10 and 20 bearish signal on macd bearish trend on four hours time frame volume is decreasing one hour time frame it's a buy signal bullish on one hour time frame macd green let's move to baba baba daily baba daily let's see baba daily still bearish trend macd bearish moving average is still bearish last three days in a row the last three bars below ma 200 MA5 did bearish crossover, it is bearish. Yeah, it's kind of, you see three days, it's kind of uh, dancing and trying to bounce from, and it bounced actually today from, from uh, this support line, this support line, this blue line is support line. The next support, it's kind of, yeah, we have a lot of support between 95 level, 94 level and 86 level a lot of support the next one will be supported around 70 70 80 75 it's a lot of a lot of support it has okay daily still bearish let's move to four hours four hours it's bearish the last bar is still below my five and below my 200 m and my five did bearish crossover over 200 and my 10 ready for bearish crossover my 20 downtrend macd red bearish trend for baba on four hours time frame one hour time frame one hour time frame buy signal it wants to go bullish macd green it's bullish uh, may 5 didn't make bullish crossover yet kind of yeah it was yeah, it has bullish divergences on one hour time frame and the price action is price action downtrend macd is uptrend right macd has bullish divergences that's what we have on baba bullish divergences on on one hour time frame baba wants to have bullish correction on one hour time frame that's all very simple baba apple tesla they all yeah, bearish on all time frames. Let's move to indexes. Indexes, they all bearish on daily time frame and four hours time frame. No changes for last three days. Bearish trend only on one hour time frame. All indexes, they want to have bullish. They have bullish, uh, bullish crossover and bullish signal on MACD. They want to have bullish correction, maybe to, to close gaps down that they left they all left when they moved down they left gaps above about the current state that's what we can observe we can observe bullish run on one hour time frame can be similar like today we can move up and sell off that's absolutely possible that's all 
very simple thank you so much let's move to disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only please use paper trading for educational purpose that's all please read it let's move to a simple training style video thank you for watching this video and uh, i do publish daily updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe for all my channels click like button to support the youtube channel i really appreciate all your efforts thank you so much and good luck bye now